all included like a decent amount of sustain, but like they also yeah. had lockdown. Aga, Dragonite. They weren't heroes that were. There's Nemo! Oh, oh, I got it. Man. We just just get a feeling of our lanes now. So Miracle is running that PL in mid with GH roaming IO against mid one Storm Spirit. Not a hero we've ever seen be that successful, or at least be the real reason why a team has been successful. Yapsaw sitting behind them as always. This is just classic Yapsaw for this entire tournament, just try and create some problems for that mid lane and secure mid one his time. Bada playing the hero that unraveled Team Secret yesterday against Batumman's Razor. And then down the bottom, the Meepo. Team Liquid actually came down here to break a whole bunch of trees and put down that one dire Observer Ward. Do you think there's actually like a like a set reason too where they want to clear out the trees? Is it watching the pools? Is it watching Ace die under the tower? The Thunder Strike will be enough. Mind Control with his attack will reach any Secret, especially mid one, always does well. I, I would agree with that. But at the same time, Midwon is a beast on this hero. He's one of my favorite storms. Feels like he's one of the few people that actually... The only person that I've seen one with this hero in quite some time, so... It takes a lot to impress you for a storm spirit. Uh, no, Bob, look at this bloody block. miracle! He uses the small illusion to actually stop him. The shards, it doesn't block! Miracle away! Almost the save from Yabsaw. Miracle will just walk straight back down the mid lane. That you was... shouldn't have praised him, Blitz. You shouldn't have praised him. <laughs> that, it was worth it for that. That was very cool. Miracle, presence of mind, uses one of his illusions just to step in front. The little things that separate players like that oh, in this game, but it's hard to enable him because the Enchantress is so good at just setting up for these quick fights. Normally when you play Kodar. Inch, oh, and GH not. can work together. Ace, he's already poofed away with that Meepo to try and farm up the camps, and now Ace will fall to Kuro. Stop tower, about half HP, even below that does a lot more damage to the tower than I anticipated, and no real response from Secret. We've talked about how important this mid tower is to the rest of the game, and the fact that they're able to do this in 8 minutes without a catapult, not bode well so far for Secret. Fortification slowing things down, the Shah is just trying to keep Kuro out of the fight, Miracle looking for the last hit, Puppy gets the deny. So at least they remove some of the extra gold, but Miracle could just go for the kills instead. With the help of GH, who's tethered himself forward, they want to kill off Yapsaw. Snowball available, and he's heading towards Miracle by the looks of it. Yep, straight back up the mid, and Yapsaw, well, you can shard to try and slow down the wave, but that's going to be all. There is That is one of the... There is no breaks on that train. Normally yep. there's like a little bit of a bump, that is almost straight down. They're thinking about a fight over onto Miracle. He's been hit by Decay a couple of times, and this is why mid one wants to jump forward. Has no points up in Electric Vortex, so no control ability onto Miracle, and here comes GH flying over the trees. Another Decay, Miracle, the shards are blocking mid, but it won't really matter. He's still got 17 one shots up his sleeve, so they go for GH mid one and Yapsaw teaming up on him. Farda, the Rift, it will not get him out to safety. And now they even glimpse Yapsaw up and into the Miracle. wall. He starts his TP, and Miracle just wants blood. He'll claim Yapsaw. Seven of the dire jungle on the southern side. Bro, he's got his ult too. Oh yeah, he does. He, he can TP. actually kill him all right now. But then again, there's your Earthbind holding him on the edge. Storm Spirit jumps over. So a nice kill for Ace, but the relocate will kill him. But at this point... It's closer than I thought it'd be. The damage that Razor can steal so quickly. 112. Throwing out the Tuskar shards. Yapsol snowballed into Miracle. So there was no escaping this. Is this just so, like, big pickoffs? Now yeah, here he goes, he's gonna attempt it onto Miracle. That would be a huge kill if they can claim it. Farda's in the neighborhood. And a couple lands to the face. Now here comes the help for Doppelganger. It's so quick, they tried to predict the Pit of Malice, but it will not work. GH is there to hold Miracle's hand. New one burning so much mana. And Ace having to poop away to safety. All the mana burnt oh, from, uh, from uh, barely gets mid one. Over. And yeah, poor Meepo. Getting picked off on the way out. Farda, okay. he's getting glimpsed and then just Jumps back. The target that they opted to go for is probably the hardest one to kill. Team Secret, they're coming over. GH, here comes the shards. Just keeping Liquid inside the pit. Puppy can get a pretty big decay out. And he's still got the Tombstone running around, so they're going to try and attack from all sides. Farda coming in too. Team Liquid, now they're coming out. They actually missed the pit. And now Farda, as well as Yapsaw, they protect themselves inside the snowball. But they're surrounded oh, by a lot of damage. Maybe. Yeah, there is so much damage coming out. Ace jumped into the middle of this fight. Team Liquid, they've lost two. They've claimed three back oh, in return. Miracle, Miracle jumping up. Ace is going to pop right now, and it's all up to Puppy, the last man standing. Maybe with a buyback. Mid one has been quick. Quick day is a good day, right? 
You expect this game at least. I, it is only game one. The bike was right. ace. Okay, he needed kills like that. Yep. The song so made life a little bit more difficult to get out. There's a lot of damage from mind control. Ace is going to be okay though. Battle Fury. Oh. You mean you haven't been enjoying these late late game farming? Mid one. PLs, mid one. Okay. The Tubberman had the damage for it. They've got to be in the fetal position. Just like, oh, just someone save us. Yeah, he's he's getting rattled right there. Yeah. I very rarely have ever seen anyone make plays like that. Bada. They're protecting him as much as they possibly can. He's completely out of mana. Poppy wants to help out with the decays, but there's more miracles where they came from. They just keep battling Poppy. He's got 13 one charges into the base. They go Miracle and GH together. Yamsa wants to help out the glimpse onto Underlord. His TP will be successful, but Poppy is still dying with this matchup. And Matubberman's entered the top lane. They Ace has, Ace has to come back, but uh, his TP's on cooldown. His TP's on cooldown for 35 more seconds. I'm looking for one of the aces back at base, but they just don't exist, so he's walking one back now as the jump, the back lines. Whoa, mid one. He is completely out of mana. I think uh, they chase this. This Yeah, is... they do. He's, he's got one ball lightning jump now. Nope, he's using it to kill off the creep wave. It's like he's... he's is he just saying kill me? He still bought his... Because like I said, he's one of the storm... For a while, I think you was one of the few people to make it work, but in this game, there's not a whole lot that he can do. Yeah, this game has got to be very aggravating because they just simply can't kill anybody. You've got to feel pretty helpless at this point. Yeah. That initiation too, when Ace uh, was basically nowhere to be found. Making life so hard, the tier 3 tower will drop. I think Ace is hoping for a kill. Kuro, if he put an Observer Ward up right now, he would have seen Ace TPing and potentially could have stopped it. But it may not matter. Miracle, 20 minutes in, takes the rain tracks. Melee coming after it. Mid one, long jump in. Remember, you've still got that Aegis the Immortal. Miracle, doppelgangers, they can't even kill him. GH is holding the hand as they retreat back out again. And, and the relocate. They're going after the Meepo. Ace, maybe try and fight this one. No, 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 no. He brings the rest of him in just to do some damage, but. 55 seconds now without Ace, adding the pressure on bottom. They're trying to group up around the relocate target. So this is huge for Team Secret to lock him in, but they need to kill Meepo as well. GH isn't enough, but Miracle so strong, they burn the Aegis Immortal. The rest of Liquid trying to come in to help, but Chandra's still in the neighborhood. And now Miracle can start fighting again. The Crimson Guard, they're trying to protect themselves. Puppy can't get the TP off. Fada sticks around a little bit longer. He knows he'll be okay with the Dark Rift. Oh, Koro again. Only half that thing is getting <laughs> Only half the second between the glimpse and the uh, dark rift. That is the second time Pro messed that up, but I don't think he cares too much. Right now, no. Here comes mid one once and again. Pit of balance is nice. Walks up. Kill. He yells in very deep, and Miracle will go down. A thousand gold going the way of Yapsor of all people. A man highly deserving. Mind control, Fada taking he five years to actually hit him. So, okay, well, use the fire instead. He's got a bloody hood of defiance on the Enchantress too. Go so this. here comes mid one. They shard block him in. The glimpse will take mid one along. Ball lightning this. And here yes, we go again. <laughs> he burns 90% he burns of his mana to reach the front lines. Kuro at least can be sharded up. Here comes your snowball as they want to initiate in harder, but Kuro forced after him, which means Yamsor goes in way too deep to pick it in four heroes, but now Mind Control starts his work over on Farda. That one will cancel out his TP, but mid one hit once again, focusing on the GH. They want him dead, they've almost got so him. Well. He didn't go down far enough, mid one, one more attack. No, it's still not enough. Now we will finally bring him down. Liquid losing three at the Ace root. Gonna go and he's gonna bring in the extra friends, but they're coming oh. so late. He was under the tier one tower, and with his Meepo, a 10% it wasn't a puppy, he'll get glimpsed, so no TP out from him. The wall will leave and catch him. The electrified fence of death as Team Liquid. Liquid are so stubborn right now. They're just like, we refuse to not fight you. We have to take this non-stop. This is, is this a message ultimate. that has to be sent? Exactly. You gotta learn somehow, Toby. Well, Miracle's taking the mid-rags. You can learn You can learn how the effect of that's gonna cripple Team Secret in the mid lane. But you can see the impact that every single kill has on the net worth chart. Poking up, they're moving through the Radiant Jungle. But wait, are they... Roshan's alive. They're going in for Roshan? Oh, this would be... 
dastardly play, but Fada uh, get gone on. Yeah, Fada's being initiated, but here comes Stormspur. The long jump right over the back lines, trying to go on the Disruptor. He was the one that was silenced up, but Team Secret, they've lost two. The power is just way too strong when Matoma pops that BKB. A double kill for him. Or Southeast lanes mid one. Fortifications available to buy some time. Mid one actually needs this so he can pick up some mana, jump straight in, straight back out again with the shards. The Kree wave's at least licking its wounds, but they're going to catapult in the back line, so no issue for Liquid here at all. They're going to take a second lane of Rax. Ace, still not fully ready to fight. Now the Pit of Malice catching out three. Shards are pretty good as well. Mid one jumping in. They want GH, and they do have that Orchid onto him, but they need to follow up damage. Here comes Ace walking in. The Meepo proves they're focusing on Matoma. The BKB will now come out from him. GH isolated in the back line, so he cannot be that heal. But when Ace is down, the damage is gone with him. Kuro's put down the perfect wall, the perfect storm, and mid one will fall. I think that's it. Hey, you've got to tap out now. Four heroes without buyback and GH. GG indeed. Team Liquid, it took a little longer than the first series did today, but 27, 28 minutes, convincing fashion, apart from a small little hiccup at around the 20 minute mark. Yeah, that was very thorough. And Smile on.